Right then guys, it is Wednesday the 27th of September, exactly eight days after I've had my leg amputated and the doctor that amputated my leg has just walked in and said, if everything is good and we can get your rehabilitation sorted down the south, you can go home today. Whoop! Happy days, baby. Today or tomorrow anyway, so that'd be nice. So hopefully I'll be getting out of this prison cell that they left me in. Oh my God, that's gonna be beautiful. Fresh air and sun on my skin. Love it. Right then, this here is Dr. Ramirez. He is the man who put my foot together in the first place and he's the one who chops it off this time as well. So Mr. Dr. Ramirez, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> the man, the legend. <laughs> Till these are, these are my release papers, baby. That's what that means. That means I'm going home. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Fresh air, I'm gonna get the sun on my face. I'm gonna put my feet in the sand. No, I'm not really, but you know what I mean? My foot, my foot's going in the sand. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm free. I'm actually free. We're not actually out of the hospital yet and I feel much better already. Do you know how nice it is to get just sunlight and blatantly just fresh air on your face after being trapped in five weeks. Oh. Oh my God, it's so nice to be back in my house. It is unreal. And I've come out into a big box from Ellie and the kids. Uh, Ellie Morgan, Alyssa and Alea. And I've got, look at all these cards. I've got all these cards that I can look at. I've got a little Rubik's Cube toy for my key ring. And this is absolutely amazing. Look at that. <laughs> it's even got the tattoos right. Look at that. And it's got a little bionic leg on it. <laughs> I don't know about the hair, I'm gonna have to grow my hair like that now, aren't I? And a big shout out to Hellfire Juice as well for passing me my stuff. Thank you, Hellfire Juice. Oh my days. So yeah, it's really nice to be back home. I'm back in my own house and I'm chilling. So people, I'm home at last and nothing can beat your own bed and I can't wait to get this bad boy later, trust me. There is one thing I will say about coming home though, you look at things completely differently. Like when I've come in, I've noticed that there's nothing to hold on to really in the kitchen because I haven't got like a wall, it's like a, an apartment with a kitchen bit on it. There's something to hold on to and the bathroom as well, there's no seat in the bathroom yet, uh, things like that. So you do have to think about that as well when you get home, you have to think about changing your house up to uh, accommodate your needs, I suppose. You have to make your health disabled friendly. So that's something I'm gonna cover in tomorrow's video. See you later, guys.